welcome back in my channel today <clears throat> now on the third day of this series of this video i bring the csgm conceptual model it is important to understand that why it is called the conceptual model why it is not called the full proof model because it is still in the concept state it is evolving it's building it's not 100% accurate it's not i'll not say 100% accurate it's not the right word i'll not say it is not 100% full proof that it is applicable for everybody and everywhere still the things are evolving changing and making it good better and best before i go to csgm 4.0 let's understand that how this conceptual model look like in the 1.0 so this was the conceptual model in the beginning when the kingston was launched service now has a concept of services on the top they have portfolio business application capabilities they are the interrelated in the down they have a application they have a infra offerings and catalog simple no domains nothing much to be do here in the next part that is common that is data model 2.0 it has introduce and improve few more things and few definitions has been given by service now so in the model 2.0 service now introduce three major domains so these three sections you can see 1 2 and 3 these are called the domains which has sell and consume <clears throat> it means the services which is available for the business users to buy it has the design that how this services will be designed in the background they require some capability and the third they have a technical services manage technical services to provide this and this services there are the technical service in the background which are supporting here so this was the done in 2.0 and you can see a drastic change has been done just a simple flow chart kind of things simple two or four boxes but here they bring up everything new and now they have saying it's a design phase sell and consume and manage technical services and this is the this is the principle which was saying standard definitions we will see this in 4.0 as well then in 3.0 service now introduce a foundation domain as well it says sell and consume that's fine <clears throat> but what are required for the services in the market that again data what user company location groups are available this is become in the foundation data and also if you notice in the 2.0 only technical service and offering but in the 3.0 they have a one more persona they have added here application owner from application technical owner from the infra technical owner from the delivery perspective and last which is current now let me take you on the this part this is what the current or the latest conceptual model given by service now and if you notice they introduce this as a new domain here called the build and they move the foundation domain at the bottom it means for all these domains this foundation is going to be based because either you build it either you make a services either you have a technical part you need the foundation to be strong and foundation is always shared it is not a stand alone foundation it is shared by everybody this is what service now introduce in 4.0 and now total five domains are there which is given by service now sell and consume design build and manage in the upcoming series in the upcoming videos we are going to be discuss these domains one by one in depth we will understand the concept and will move forward <clears throat> so now let's move to the next part of this one <coughs> sorry if you see here which is important is called the services 
services and if you go a little bit up on the design part capabilities applications services and services and services what do you mean by the word service here so service now say i did not define anything new for the service i say i pick up the service which is coming from the itl v3 and which is the part of it for it and which is still in the itl 4 as well so what this is a service is a means of delivering value to the customer by facilitating outcome customer want to achieve without ownership to a specific cost and risk simple and easy and layman language if i say service means that you are not bother that how these videos are getting created at my side you want you just knowledge and i want to just share knowledge with you guys with the community and without taking any ownership that atul is waking up in the midnight in the morning in the afternoon in the lunch time when i'm getting created this what the risk involved you nobody is bother only me so this is what i'm saying the service is here service typically have a three aspects this is one of the question which is i got in one of the interview as well number 1 the interaction number 2 the offering and number 3 are the service system interaction means that how someone is going to be used that offering means what are the different offers available on that part and the service system is that is any tool product software available to use that particular thing we will we will try to discuss this little bit in the upcoming discussions so now as per service now they say in this whole picture they have three type of services number 1 a application service number 2 a business service and number 3 a technical service let me let me speak up from the middle one business service a service which is published to the business user and it underpin one or more business capabilities it means let's say if i am running a company and i can say that i am providing a services of hr i am providing service of the payroll i am providing services for the onboarding offboarding these are my business service so that someone from the market can come and say atul i want to buy this service from you so let me take example here let's understand this thing from the service now perspective so this is what i pick up a example and also one more thing please don't ask me for the presentation because all the images which i pick up it's only from the service now community so this is what i'm seeing here what is business service like service now says there's a business service called the onboarding you want to onboard your customers you want to onboard your users you want to onboard your uh, groups you can take my business service if i am a customer i go and i say okay service now i want to buy your business your onboarding services to onboard my customer on your instance it can be anything after that then what is the application service if i truly says it exists or not exist but it is a logical one it may be visible it not may not be visible so it is a application service which is type as a it is a service type which is a logical representation like if i say okay can you see the hr service no i cannot see the hr service i can see the hr but i cannot see the hr services but to represent if you want to raise a incident if you want to raise a change on which you will raise you raise a hr services you not raise a, raise a change on hr you say that x company hr services are not good enough this is what the log logical representation of a deployed system or application at your site and it is coming from the cmdb ci underscore auto table it is a operational C it is a ci it is a ci number 1 it is again a ci number 2 but it is used for impact if in the market if someone say no 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 don't buy the hr service from this particular customer i am getting impacted a lot of from the lot of places but here it is mainly again work or focus on the incident change problem but it is a 
environmental define let me show you on this particular part so we are talking about the application service here <coughs> so this is what application service i have a three instances of service now dev prod and test if i am facing any issue i go to service now and i is a case i said my production is not working it means i am raising a service or sorry <coughs> i am raising a case or i am raising incident on the production one this is what we have to be very clearly define that application services are the environment specific this is this is what that is isn't it is important has been used in the ipc one then the technical service <coughs> sorry technical service is basically is a published to the service owner that who support this logically in the background as technical part let me show you here c okay x is supporting production y is supporting test and z is supporting qa it means this is a this is a service where i have a different different service owner if i have a i am going to be deploy a change on the qa then i will not go for the approval for the production one i go just go for the approval from the qa service owner from the technical part because he is managing that part it says underpin business or application service it means this technical service support this and this maybe one maybe many let's again shared what is the concept of shared resources the same thing this the same person can support production and test maybe it does not support production or only production but not the test again it is a one level but not a hierarchy of the technical part it's a, again operational ci as well so you can see here so in this picture you can see technical service i have a platform and i have a hosting service maybe i can say i have a database as a technical service i have a unix as a technical service under that i can have a different offerings we will discuss we will discuss this in a later on part so this is what the concept of service is service now provided again i am coming on my uh, the the part which i told in the first session that it is important to understand from the consulting perspective csgm is easy to implement but tough to consult i cannot take a decision easily that x service is going to be business service technical or application i have to be sit with my customer understand that what is the purpose of this service how they are using it what is the nature of this service only then i can decide and i can put that particular record in a particular service also one thing which is important here that is any reporting come with csgm no there is a no reporting come with the csgm it's totally depend on you what data you are putting and what data you want to be extract from the reporting perspective but maybe not now in 5.0 in 6.0 service now bring some more reporting concepts here and it can be helpful for me but yes there is a one important thing which is given by service now here that is service now sorry cmdb query builder a uh, one of the finest concepts which is given by service now and it is widely used in the csdm concepts it says if you want to build a query on the different different cmdb classes or non cmdb tables as well you can use the cmdb query builder we will see this in our upcoming sessions we will see this in in our upcoming videos so as of now let's let's take a break here again and we'll connect again in the next video if you get some knowledge if you get some idea please like this video share this video with your friends and we'll connect again soon with the next video till the time take care and bye bye guys